Hello and welcome to the first, the introduction in fact, to the Yoldi Battle Reps painting videos I'm going to do. Um, I'm calling them painting the basics because I want to make it clear in this introduction that is I'm only going to be painting my model to a basic tabletop standard. So this is really for people who want to get a good standard of painting for their models but aren't interested in blending or washing down their paint. Um, there's no airbrushing that's going to be involved in this. I'm simply using basic GW paints in their basic forms. Um, I'm not mixing any paints either. So if you're looking for a painting video that shows you how to do all that then these aren't the ones for you, but I like to think that I get a pretty good standard of painting for my models. It doesn't take me too long either. Um, I can get my models to look good in a way that I'm happy with without too much effort. And that's what I wanted to share with people with these videos. So as you can see from this picture, at the moment, this is simply a showcase of some of the models that I've done over the years. Um, I will take the camera off the tripod in a second and show you some of these models closer up so you can get an idea of the kind of standard that I pick my models to. I'll also give you an idea how long it takes for some of them. And then I'm going to do a series of videos um, showing different ways of getting the results that I've got with my models. Um, I hope that it helps some people. It isn't gonna make Masterclass painters out of anyone, but my aim for this is that people can get a good idea of how to get some interesting results from their models and learn a few little tips of how to make models look basically pretty good without too much effort. So I'm now going to take the camera off the tripod and show these models closer up. I'm just going to show you the models that you saw in the previous screen and I'm going to show you a bit closer up so you can get a, and like I say a closer look at the standard that I paint to which isn't like I say it's not master class but it'll get you some pretty good results. So this is a screamer of each, so I'd made mine blue, got the yellow eyes and the horns at the front, and I did the base a bit different with this one as well. Move across, I've got a couple of Antares models. I move the, move the light so you can see it better. Uh, here's a Concord. Get close to this guy, you can see what he looks like. And a drone. This is one of my better models actually. This is Isabella. I use her in my Mordheim campaign. So I'm just gonna turn her around a little bit. She's one of the better painted models I've got, I would say. I got quite I was quite pleased with the effect I got on her cloak on this. It's quite a light coloured cloak and the highlight on there, so I'll do a video at some point on how to paint like that. Um and then looking close up at her face as well. Looks pretty spooky. Um this is a brood lord. I painted this quite a long time ago actually. Um I painted we moved on a little bit from this guy. But again, I was pleased with the results, so I wanted to show them in this video. Um, and then this blue slash pink horror, actually very similar effects to the brood lord next to it. This guy is essentially to how to paint blue sort of muscle tone on things. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Looks like there. Um, so I'll do a video on that at some point. I'll paint. I'll paint another one of these. I've used the first one I painted in the unit, so I'll be able to have a few to show you. I've then got. Mist. So that's some purple and, and red on him, and a white mask on him as well. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to put another Union model at some point from the Guild Ball range, and show you how I got that effect as well. So next thing I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to show you my. This is my entire Alchemist team again from Guild Ball. Um, I was really pleased with how I managed to get this team off. So starting with Ben, and he's pretty simple. Um, brown cloak, green trousers. I'll show you how I got that effect, and the same on the poison dripping from his hand. Um, and I will definitely do a video on hair at some point and brass. Um, and I've got Midas the King. Camera will focus. Here we go. So, again, it looks pretty good. Not going to win any competitions with it, but it's a good standard. And then Vitriol. So I'll do a video at some point on how I got that hair to look like that. 
Yeah, as you can see. Mercury, I'll do one on fire as well at some point. It's quite pleased with the fire that I got on him. I even did some highlighting on his body to show almost like a reflection of the fire onto him as well. So mm, I could even potentially buy another Mercury model and show you how to do that, depending on how popular these videos are. Um, next to him I've got Smoke. It does help this model, it's absolutely gorgeous. That does definitely make a difference in your painting, I think. Um, so I was pretty pleased with her. Compound. I'll show him a bit close up as well, because I'm pretty pleased with him. So I'll do a flesh tone video at some point as well, and wood. Uh, I think the first video I'm doing is about doing dark clothing. I've already started filming that one. So you'll see that one quite soon. And then lastly, I've got calculus and flask. So that's what the let's see if we'll focus. That's what the alchemist range looks like for my team. Again, pretty pleasing. And you know, this took me five, six days. Not of solid painting, obviously, but probably only about four hours altogether to paint this entire team. So that's the kind of thing I look I look for. I don't I'm not interested in spending days and days of my life painting models that are just gonna chip and get damaged on the board anyway. So one more lot to show you, which are the really big models, and that'll be it for the introduction. So the last three models I'm going to show you are slightly larger models. So this is the Badger from Barrows and Badgers. I love this model, he looks so awesome. Um, particularly pleased with his cloak. So I'll do a video on painting uh, a light coloured cloak and the dirt effect I'll do as well. Um, and the brass there, which is incredibly easy to get that brass effect. Um, so I'll do a really, really quick video on that because it really does not take very long at all. This is a conversion I did. This is a game today model, the guy on top on a disc. Um, so this is a good example of how I get flesh. A gross looking flesh as well. So turning around, you can see what that looks like. And again, the blue cloak. Big fan of blue. I think I've got a good way of doing my blue clothing and muscle tone and things. So I'll definitely show that. And then a nice big model for you to look at. This is the Warp Fire Dragon, which I converted to hold a Chaos Lord. So that's the Chaos Lord from the Manticore kit. And here's the dragon. Um, which looks again pretty brutal. So I can do a video on green as well at some point. So that's the selection models oops, that I've got. Like I said, no mixing, no blending, um, no airbrushing. No Lamian medium. It's just the basic paints in their in their most basic form. Um, I use GW paints. Um, so if you don't like using GW paints, I get these other videos for you. I use them for two reasons. One, I used to collect a lot of GW models, and they were just the range that I used for those models. And the range is also huge. It's a huge range of paints. Um, I essentially think they're just as good quality as any other ones. Um, so that's it for the introduction. I hope you like the models. And I hope you do want to look at some more of the painting videos, but as I say, it's entirely up to you where you decide to take the advice from. Um, this is as good as I'll get with my models. I've got no real interest in doing much better than this. Um, I'm not going to be entering any competition to mark for painting anytime soon, but I think I get a good quality for not too much effort. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I'll put up some more videos soon.